everything is burned. The pussy is burning down. A pillar of flames was the only thing that lit the sky while families ran out of their burning apartment. You didn't even get to grab shoes. No. <laughs> no. I mean, that's how fast you had to get out. Yeah. We didn't have to have to do nothing. <laughs> Flames and smoke spreading quickly in the night. Neighbors are thankful they were able to wake up in time. No sprinklers or no uh, fire to take the smoke to take the wind off. Nothing went off. Nothing made no sound. Nothing went off at all. But there was one sound. Somebody was beating on the door. God is coming through. Somebody was just beating on the door and I just laid down. Catherine Stewart was the first to wake up to the flames. And the smoke was it was jet black. It was black, black, black smoke. And then it just covered the house. My gown caught a fire, so I didn't even have to come out of my clothes. And then it just went to my head. When I went to, because I, I tried to put it out, and, and it just went to burning real fast, so I just basically got it over my head. Even though Stewart was fighting through the pain of burns, she was able to grab her child and warn her friends. I thank God for her. I thank God. I mean, I just, oh, Lord, hallelujah. With photojournalist Pete Bird, Deja Night News Channel 5 HD.